Hey people, here on the Dodger Game Channel. This one's gonna go straight at the San Diego Temple here. Let's just uh, get the picture going bigger here. Uh, I guess I can't run them both at the same time. All right, so we got the little smaller picture. And uh, we've got some important messages and announcements today. But let's just note, Right across from the San Diego Temple, we've got obviously a practicing witch here. The hexagram and the five pointed pentagram there. It doesn't have to be inverted for witchcraft, those are used in witchcraft. Isn't that interesting? So, um, important announcements here. Something's happening with this temple. Something will be happening with people that come in here, especially if we get some help from you people. So what am I talking about? At this historic place? Yeah, it's historic for me because right down the street there, there's a nice little park in this HOA. And one Friday, there's a little picnic had and about the third or fourth, I know exactly, but I'm not thinking about what day it was, time that I saw the girl that became my wife and I kissed her right there in front of the San Diego Temple, where we later got married for all eternity. Although, 13 weeks after the first date on Friday the 13th, with us both dressed in black, meeting at an LDS function, not knowing what each other would be wearing, and no one else was wearing black, kind of weird, huh? Um, we were married civilly and waited. We're forced to wait until I got permission from Gordon B. Hinckley. What happened to my video here? Why is it all screwed up? As I was saying, before that technical difficulty came up, I had to get permission from Gordon B. Hinckley to be sealed to a second woman polygamously in the temple. Even though I trusted that my first wife was so unworthy that she would never join us in the celestial kingdom and wreck it for us. <laughs> I wrote Gordon a letter regarding it, because you're supposed to do that, you know. And uh, I asked him specific questions, which he ignored. But his secretary, was it Michael Watkins or what the heck was his name? Something like that. Called me up and said, you're cleared to be sealed for time and all eternity to your new bride. Well, after I began to suffer what we'll just term as a nervous breakdown after coming back to America to save the youngest child of my first marriage from heroin, we lost everything and she left with our children. Now to her credit, she basically had no choice. She wasn't a bad girl, she's a very good girl, but she never came back for me. About a year later, she initiated a civil divorce. Another year and a half or so later, she initiated divorcing me for all eternity. We were best of friends when she left. But um, I got a call from her branch president. I was in no shape to defend anything at that point. I was completely non-functional for four years. I didn't talk to people unless I got a phone call from a family member. And even then it was very difficult. Got most of the calls from my son who we did managed to see stop using heroin, created a successful computer company, traveled to Europe, and then was murdered. It's been a pretty crappy five years or so. Anyway, 
she married some other guy because the Mormon priesthood doesn't seem to care too much about what Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery so carefully copied into the Book of Mormon, 3rd Nephi chapter 12, from the Sermon on the Mount out of Matthew chapter 5, which states that if a woman is divorced for any cause save adultery, then any, any, uh, any relationships she has after that are considered adultery. But that's not profitable for Mormon Inc., so who cares? Guys with white shirts and ties sitting behind desks say, that's all right, sweetie, we'll find you a worthy priesthood bearer. Locally. And so now I'm completely irrelevant to my children because, you know, she's sealed to another guy for all eternity. I'm sure they love their mom, who's very lovable, and they have to choose. So, I'm irrelevant for all eternity because this life is just, just a, a test to qualify us for who we'll spend all eternity with. She's supposedly spending it with senior new guy who doesn't care what the scriptures say. Although, you know, I was very careful when dating not to date any woman who was, you know, um, divorced for anything other than adultery when I was wife shopping. Pretty brief thing. Um, yeah, so my kids don't even talk to me anymore. Those ones from the marriage with my sweetheart. They don't talk to me. I can only guess why, but they don't. So I send them videos. However, now that I'm not confined to a small space and not talking to anyone, and I'm out working, doing the illustrious self-employed occupation that I'm trying to fund my other ventures with to get started again in life, Hopefully I'll see them soon, see what can happen. At any rate, um, at this temple, and in the Salt Lake Temple area, at Temple Square, where thousands of people flock, maybe millions per year, I really don't know the number, Mormonism is attracting so many people to come and visit these temples to learn about Mormonism and they're going to be learning, some of them are going to be learning a lot more than the church wants them to because there are now devices placed within several hundred meters range which they have of these temples that will alert Android phone users to the fact that they can find tremendous information about Mormonism on the Mormon Truth Videos Gospel Topics Hub with what other what, with whatever clever little notifications I want to devise and send them straight to an area where they've got videos per subject that I will tailor these messages to and give them a real education on Mormonism. The education I've been trying to give people last year and a half since January 1st of 2017 when I opened the Dodger Game channel and I've created between that and Mormon Truth Videos channel about somewhere in excess of 400 videos regarding Mormon history, Mormon doctrine, mind control used on the people, etc. and masking the ruse that's played upon us by this church that actually destroys families while telling us that they're keeping us together. As long as you play according to the rules that they give you and are subservient to the leaders, they promise you, in the name of God, that they'll keep you together for time and all eternity with the promises that are made in temples like this one. Anyway, these devices cost money to keep active on a particular network that they use in conjunction with Google nearby marketing to send these 
direct alerts to people's phones who are within range, in this case within 400 meters of a device, which I might add that freeway number 5, Interstate 5, happens to be. As people approach the Mormon Temple, they will get notifications, sending them to where they will come to maybe this page or other pages that I've got with both written and video material, like this. You've seen it. I'm not going to go through and give a tour of the website right now. But anyway, yeah, I uh, wanted to get involved with this business because it's an exploding technology, a new marketing opportunity for a lot of small businesses to use this form of, um, of marketing to alert people when they are nearby, to send them to websites and, and YouTube videos, that sort of a thing, to advertise their businesses. And what I'm doing is sending people here to the Mormon Truth Videos Gospel Topics Hub so they can learn what really happens in this religion and what these temples are used for, which is mind control. Okay, so John DeLynn pays himself like 70 grand from his 501c3 corporation, <clears throat> his tax exempt corporation, which he gathers from people who watch his videos, his Mormon stories videos, and other activities he's involved with. John DeLynn's the only person on earth that I'm aware of that has more actual minutes on YouTube than I do. Video-based material regarding Mormonism. He's got a lot of good information, a lot of good stories. I've got more material on actually what Mormonism is about, organized per subject, than anyone on the earth that I'm aware of, including the LDS Church, in video format, and I've done it in a year and a half. So, yeah, I don't know, these guys have these other than YouTube channel things or whatever, but I'm going to do a GoFundMe, and I think that, uh, I think that what I'm putting together is going to be big. It's going to be big because my goal is to bring down the Mormon church in its entirety. Not to change it, reform it, or anything like that, but to destroy it, to level it. That's a pretty big fantasy, isn't it? But along the way, we'll save lives from this screwed up cult. Lives that have been wrecked, like mine, for instance. Yes, I'm a spiteful person, aren't I? I can leave the church, but I can't leave it alone. What other cliches do we get from the apologists? But the fact is, I'm doing as much as I can with the time that I've got to destroy the evil of this church and to save people. So, I don't have a GoFundMe thing yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to do some things, and I'll put up more and more put out more and more devices where people can get involved in the business and put some of them. You can change your message from your business to in real time to something regarding the church at, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning where if you put them near chapels so the seminary children will get, <clears throat> get a chance to learn the truth about Mormonism when they go to seminary and click from their iPhone, well, I don't know about their iPhones, but their, their Android phones. So, we've got them at Salt Lake, we've got them here. I need to turn them on, and finances have been a problem. I mean, they were on in Salt Lake for a couple of days until that's when uh, my subscription ran out. It's costing me like 129 bucks a month for eight devices. I kind of was gonna be ambitious and go big, but I didn't have the money to fund my business ventures, and anyway. There are two devices near Temple Square and there is one near this now. And I want to light these things up and I want to light them up all over the place. I want other people to do it too. But uh, the more money I wind up with, 
the more I'm going to put into putting them near chapels and temples where people come to learn about Mormonism so they can actually learn the truth. How about that? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I've got an axe to grind, a big axe. Mike Norton, Mr. New Name Noah, said he wanted to burn it the F down. I think he was talking about the church. When he pulled his publicity stunt and got himself arrested at uh, one of the temples in Utah, he's done a great job getting inside temples and videoing what goes on there. And uh, for that, we thank him. And he allowed me to use uh, one of his videos or portions of it in something I did regarding the temple and uh, refuting Scott Gordon's apologetic BS from Italy that he did having to do with Freemasonry and the LDS temples. Nobody talks about Freemasonry in the temple the way I do. Nobody wants to talk about the Illuminati. Nobody wants to talk about the network that our church leaders are involved with that's much bigger than Mormonism and much bigger than the other religions run by the Freemasons. Maybe that's why John DeLynn won't talk to me and won't interview me. Won't interview me? He asked me who I was when I contacted about him or what my story was. As soon as he found out who he was, who I was, he went completely silent like a submarine diving to the bottom in World War II. Yeah. None of them speak to me. None of them speak to me. Not the pro-Mormon, not the anti-Mormon. Except the husband of Millennial Mormon who recently actually watched one of my videos and commented and I uh, did a video on his commentary a couple days ago which is doing pretty well by the way so um, hey maybe Millennial Mormon and her husband will turn out to be uh, good people that they seem to be and uh, maybe they will have dialogue and uh, maybe we can do some some have a conversation together uh, in some videos. They seem like really nice people and uh, you know I believe that stuff too and uh, they're young enough to be almost my grandkids so hey who knows the possibilities from the San Diego Temple on Charmont Drive Dodger Game out